My name is uh, Stefan Bernsey. I'm going to introduce you to our new uh, software that we're presenting at the Music Messe today, which is SonicWorks. Some of you might uh, remember SonicWorks back from the 1990s, where we had it as a, like a standalone sample editor. Actually, the first sample editor that uh, used to have plugins. Well, today the SonicWorks has matured quite a bit, and what we have today is an application that allows you to edit audio in totally new ways, giving you access to features within your complete mix. So what I'm going to show you today is a little sound file, um, a little track by Peter Gabriel, which I'm going to play back for you right now. I never thought I could fail. No fight left. Okay, everybody knows that. So what we have here is actually a diagram of the different notes of the different sounds within the mix. And what you can do with SonicWorks now is basically go in there point the mouse at the feature that you're interested in and just point and click and select it in order to pull out the sound. So I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. We're getting some funny clicks here because the machine is actually not fast enough for that task, but uh, you, you get the idea. So what I can do now is go in there and select a different part of the voice like so and then it's going to apply a pattern tracker which actually goes in there and decides what kind of parts of the sound actually belongs to the voice and what part is uh, part of a different instrument. So it even works with instruments that are crossing the path of what, you, what you're selecting here. And of course, once you have selected the sound that you're interested in, you can go ahead and pull it out in a separate sound file, you can render it to a sound file, or you can suppress it in the mix, um, giving you access to the individual uh, tracks within the mix. And that works surprisingly well. I'm going to show you some pre-computed demo files that I've set up here. Just bring them up real quick in QuickTime Player. And you'll see that we have the Peter Gabriel piece here. I play the original for you one more time. I never thought ah, no fight left or so it seems. I am a man whose dreams have all deserted. Okay, and once we pull out the voice, it sounds like this, which is the voice. I never thought I could fail. No fight left or so it seems. I am a man whose dreams have all deserted. Okay, we also have a different piece which is a little jazz piece that has a very complicated uh, trumpet solo in it which crosses through all the frequencies that you can think of. i just play it back for you in the original real quick. So the trumpet is really all over the place. Um, it crosses the piano tracks, it, it uh, has some interference with the bass, there are cymbals in there that you can uh, hear. So I'm pulling out the trumpet, pre-calculated the file for you, so it uh, goes a little bit faster because the machine needs quite a lot of CPU power in order to do that. Yeah, you get the idea. So you get most of the trumpet, well, actually all of the trumpet, plus some little cymbals, hi-hats that you can hear in the background. But uh, that could have been actually the headphones of the trumpet player bleeding into your microphone. Well, just kidding. Yeah, so that's basically what SonicWorks does for now. Um, it's going to ship in June, July this year. It's going to cost about uh, 1,700 euros. And yeah, it's a Mac-only application um, that works on any modern Mac. Needs a pretty big hard drive because the analysis files, which resolve down to a millihertz uh, frequency, um, take up quite a lot of disk space. It's about like one to two gigabytes of disk space for any minute audio. And you also need a pretty fast machine. We're using all, all cores that are available in the machine. So if you have a multi-core machine, it will um, calculate all the analysis files in the background. And the part that is actually already calculated, you can go in there and, and edit it at the same time while it's calculating the file. So yeah, that's basically basically what SonicWorks does. Um, yeah.